Hey folks, Jesus is coming soon. All right, church, I know there's a lot of you out there who are possibly feeling like I was feeling for a while dealing with all this lung stuff. And I just felt heavy. And I really can't even explain it. Just down in the dumps and felt like I was reaching my hand in this hole and there was nobody to pull me out. And then it got worse. It started feeling like I was just sinking in a river. And there was people all around me, but nobody would pull me out. And it just, it hurt. Through all this stuff, watching the Lord do a miracle on me, where doctors said I'd be down months. And here I am, what, eight days home from the hospital, and I'm able to do more now than I have in four years. But I realized that feeling wasn't doing nothing. It was just dragging me down. And I let it. So, I mean, people can say whatever they want about me now. I mean, it's not, it's not going to hurt me anymore like it did. And I know a lot of you out there experience that too. People say something to you and it hurts. Yes, it does hurt. You know, and it's hard to shrug some things off that people say. You know, on this channel, I've been called a fraud. I've been called a, a false prophet. I've never claimed to be a prophet. I've never claimed to be anything other than a man that loves the Lord for anybody to even call me a fraud. A fraud of what? I, I can't figure that out, but that's okay. I've been called worse. Just as most of you, I'm sure, have been called worse. So therefore, what people say shouldn't even affect anything about us or our walk with Christ. So what if they call me stupid? Yeah, I've been stupid. So what if they call me an idiot? Yeah, I've been an idiot. And last but not least, so what if they call me a failure? Yes, I have failed. That's why I say I am nothing without Christ. Absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. Without Christ, I am nothing but a dog turd in the lawn. But with Christ, I'm something. I'm loved. Why would anybody want to give something like that up? For a little bit of pain. Or for what someone calls you. I can't call anybody anything. Because I've been all that stuff. I see it on, on you know, some, some people's channels. Calling other people stupid and this and that well like I said I can't call anybody that because I also have been that so why would I do that why would you do that why would I go around and gossip about Joe Blow over here when I don't even know Joe Blow's story so why would you do that why would you go get in a clique in a church building and bad mouth and slander another brother or sister in Christ. Why would you do that? Are we supposed to do that? No, we're to love one another. That's what people lack today. Love. And I'm not talking the fake love. Anybody can say I love you. It's that childlike love that you have for all people. Not everybody has it. Because they don't love only themselves. So it's time to get out of the hole. Reach up for Jesus because he's coming very soon, folks. Don't be caught off guard. And trust me when I say there are a lot of deep holes to fall into. Don't fall into not one of them. And I get it. I've had my share of pain in this life. As I shared part of my testimony last night, that was only part. There's so much more. You know, as like having to watch my best friend, my dad, die in hospice. And there wasn't nothing I could do about it. Yeah, that broke me too. It hurt. But I felt the peace of the Lord through all that. I've seen so much death in my life. To the point where I'm sick of death. I'm tired of seeing death. People that have been really close to me just die. And there's nothing I can do. But that's where people fall into these holes. And it just, it's like quicksand. It pulls you down and pulls you down if you let it. But as long as you cling on to Jesus, nothing in this world is worth even becoming slightly depressed over. So I'll say, everything's going to be alright. Even if it it's not okay right now. Even if it's not all right right now, it's still going to be okay. I mean, standing in those clouds face to face with Jesus, 
I don't think any of us can even comprehend or even imagine how that would feel, honestly. But at that point, who would think about anything that we've been through here? Literally, who? Who would even have questions of why something happened the way it happened or didn't happen the way you wanted it to happen? Who would even have those thoughts? I know I wouldn't. I'd be too focused on the Lord. And what I would think in my mind is, so what about this life? So what all the stuff I've been through? Because I look at it, there was a time I couldn't even look myself in the mirror. I hated myself so much because everybody else hated me. And I didn't know why, so I figured, hey, everybody else hates me, I might as well hate myself too. Everybody else thinks I'm a pest. God must think I'm a pest. But that's so not the case at all. Keep looking up, church, I'm telling y'all. You know, like I said, people can call me a fraud for saying Jesus is coming soon. That's what I believe in my heart. That's what I know in my heart. I've actually been saying that longer than two years. To be honest, I've been saying that since 2017. But I believe in my heart soon is soon. Now that we think of it, 2017, that came and gone. It feels like it was yesterday. So, yeah, it's soon. This life is a vapor. It's here and it's gone. Romans 10, 9 through 13. I love all of you. I truly do. God bless. Say it. Okay, do it. That's right. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay.